Today I am going to show you how to flash your 9 bot Max. If you have a Windows computer, you will be able to do this, or an Android phone. I am an iPhone, so I do need to use the Windows computer. So out of the box, in the UK, typically these are uh, limited to 15.5 miles per hour or 25 kilometers per hour. You can actually get them with 18.6 miles per hour. Mine came with that. But for those people that are buying from such places like Halfords, you may want the uh, 18 miles an hour unlocked, which you will have to do by flashing it. Disclaimer, you may lose your warranty for doing this, so it's up to you if you if you don't care about your warranty too much. So mine is a 9 bot Max with the first generation motor, so it's a number 6. The second generation motor would be a number 9 on the first thing of the motor housing here. Which means that mine has better torque but it will drop off speed as the battery declines. Generation two, it has less torque, but it has slightly better speed of 33 kilometers an hour, and it doesn't drop off, from what I'm told, as the battery drops off. But all we're gonna do today is show you how to flash the, uh, the computer in the 9 bot Max. So first of all, what you want to do is open up your computer and go to max.scooterhacking.org. You will be presented with this lovely screen here. Do not worry about this bit. Don't worry about that bit. Presets. Unfortunately, I don't know too much about these, but I went straight for customizing it on my own to so power and speed. And then you've got your speed settings here as well. Okay, so starting from step one with the, uh, the, the flasher, what we want to do is go to basics. You can, uh, if you have an, an external battery, you can add that. Uh, this basically stops any of the future firmware uh, messing up with the firmware that you're just about to replace it with. And you can also have a static brake light as well. Uh, I, I prefer the flashing one, just people know a little bit more about it. Power and speed. So typically, the standard sort of settings for the 9 bot Max is pushed more towards the range side of things. That's what it's famous for, 40 mile range. I'm 80 kilos, thereabouts. I'm finding that I'm getting around between 20 and 25 miles of range in sport mode everywhere. Um, I do live in quite a hilly area as well. So this is your torque level. Um, if you bring that all the way back down, I, I did try it once on around 33,000 there. I did notice quite a substantial amount of heat in the, the rear motor. You do find the torque is actually very, uh, is, is, is very nice. But uh, yeah, I didn't want to sacrifice uh, the, the, the motor for doing that. Um, you do get better range as far as you go up, you do drop off power. I did notice down here as well, uh, I took the scooter out for a range test to see what the difference would be as well. And I practically halved my mileage, uh, yeah. So be very, very careful, especially in summer it's gonna overheat that motor. So I dropped it down a little bit, just on the green and yellow line, just to give myself a little bit more torque. I'm not really sacrificing any range. So the next one down is your speed settings. So you can, uh, with the second generation motor, get 21 miles an hour or 33 kilometers, as it shows here. It does show 45 kilometers on here as a max. That is if you upgrade to the 48 volt battery. I'm not sure I'm going to do that um, purely because it's not really worth the, uh, the, the extra spend. But what you want to do is go to patch all serial numbers. So if you've got a serial number on your 9 bot Max that is a little bit different, 
it's going to work for all of them. So we want to actually put, bring all these in line, just bring it to, to about 35 kilometers on, on those. And then you know that you're you're fully covered for whatever your motor can handle. So we scroll down a little bit. We've got motor start speed. This is actually a very, very nice feature to have. So this is five set to five kilometers as default for you pushing and then using the throttle and it sending you off. I've actually brought mine down to about two. Absolutely fantastic for getting away at a junction you just give it a little push press the throttle off you off you go no curves so that's your regenerative braking if you're going down a hill regenerative braking kicks in you can turn that off and only have it activated when you press the brake i like it on all the time it saves me having to hold the brake all the time Cruise control, you can actually change the, uh, the the level of, well, the time it takes for it, the cruise control to set in. By standard, it's, its default is five seconds. You can set it at 10 seconds, you know, all the way down to one second. I did try it at three second mark, but I felt it was too quick, especially if I'm in a residential area. I don't have anything on the scooter as well to tap on my phone to uh, to turn cruise control on and off as, as I need to. So I leave mine at five. I think five is actually a very, very good level on there. And you can obviously turn the beep off. Uh, these settings here, you can actually turn off um, on here any warnings that pop up. In my opinion, I leave mine as is. So if there's any error codes, I can find out and try and fix the problem as is. Um, yeah, these are pretty self-explanatory. I actually don't know what this one is. Once you're ready, you go finish, and time to cook, and then we wanna go whatever app we are using. On Windows, it's actually the 9-bot flasher just there. And then we want to go to download. It'll bring up a file, you can then uh, name it whatever you want, and then add it into your file system. From this point, you've actually done the hardest part, which is uh, create the custom settings for your 9-bot with your computer or your smartphone. If you've got a smartphone, an Android smartphone, it's a lot easier because you don't have to get your computer out. You can do it anywhere and anywhere you choose. So now we're going to open the 9-bot uh, flash, flasher app. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to scan. And it may bring up a load of bits and pieces on there. Make sure we turn our uh, our nine bot on. Fantastic! There you go. So it's showing uh, the nine bot now. I'm going to click on there. I'm going to go connect. It will beep at you to say that it's connected. And sometimes this will take a little bit of uh, of jiggery pokery on and off, changing the name on the actual app to get it to work. Sometimes it's a bit of a pain like that. And then it's going to come up with this once it's ready. Press the power button to pair. So all we do is we come over, give it a little tap, front light will come on, and now it says paired. So now we can go ahead and just turn that light off. So once it's now paired, what you can do is go to open file, choose the file of your cho cho choosing, so default, doo -doo 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 -doo. I can't remember which one I had now, but I've had a few uh, few on there. So we go to optimize and then we go to open. And then we press flash. It locks it up, you can hear the beep, and then it starts uploading the file on there. Okay, so it's about two minutes later and it's just finished up now. Okay, so that's good, that's all done. You can actually close your uh, your computer up if you want to, and then uh, make sure that you switch your nine bot off and back on again. Take it out for a test run, see how you like it. If you need to change any settings, you can do it either from your Android phone or your uh, Windows laptop. Thank you for watching.